I wanted to come on here and do a video about this. And I didn't think I would do a video on her, Chloe Bailey, um, who was one half of the group Hallie, uh, Chloe and Hallie. And of course, you know, Hallie is her sister. And, you know, now she's facing controversy, much like her sister. Now, her sister faced controversy because, you know, she got cast as Ariel in the live action remake of the little mermaid a couple years ago and people were so upset about that and all this kind of stuff right here but you know people are just gonna have to deal with it is what it is and as far as i know i think she's currently filming the movie in london right now and i think she's probably almost done filming if she's not done already but anyway today we're going to be talking about her older sister whose name is chloe bailey um and her performance of Feeling Good by Nina Simone on this Soul of a Nation special that ABC had for Juneteenth. And how many people were upset with the performance that she did. And I actually did not look at her performance when it first aired, but I had a chance to look at it today. And it's currently June 23rd, 2021. Let me just say this. Chloe and Hallie are, have two of the most angelic voices I have heard in my life and especially for young women their age because Hallie is 20 and Chloe is 22 they're two years apart and they were discovered by Beyonce because they um sung covers of a, a lot of her songs on YouTube and Beyonce came across them and um she you know signed them to her uh record label and you know i think that was a good look considering both of these women are extremely talented like their singing voices are just like listening to angels sing and they have a lot of range especially chloe if you watch this performance so she performed this song and she had on this outfit it almost looked like something beyonce would wear too i'm gonna be honest and she did her own rendition of the song Feeling Good by Nina Simone, which is a classic, well-known Nina Simone um, track. And the performance, I had nothing to I had I actually liked the performance. But a lot of people had an issue because of the movement she was doing, the type of dancing she was doing. I guess you could say it was deemed, quote unquote, provocative and whatnot. And I was looking at some people go in on her. And I'm not talking about just PC people. I'm talking about a lot of black people, spe yeah, excuse me, specifically black women going in on her. And some people had to get corrected in comment sections about who Nina Simone was. Nina Simone, while she was definitely a pioneer and a legend in the black community, she definitely was a free spirited woman. I even researched and saw that at one point in time in her career, she performed butt naked in front of an audience and chloe actually was c pretty tamed compared to what nina simone did back in her heyday so i don't know why people were so mad with the performance that she gave and i think a lot of it is hate and envy and jealousy that you have this young talented beautiful black woman who has a very nice figure might i add and a powerful singing voice who did the best tribute that she could do to a legend that does not get enough recognition as it is. And you want to know so crazy. These are the same people that tried to say when Zoe Saldana got cast as Nina Simone, which was a travesty of a casting, which made a travesty of a movie. And I didn't even watch it. I just could look at clips and tell that wasn't going to be good. Try to give Zoe Saldana a pass when they knew good and damn well, they should not have cast Zoe Saldana to play Nina Simone. But, that's neither here nor there but they gave her a pass but got mad because what chloe did in this performance i don't know if y'all seen it but i'll leave the link and y'all can go and watch it for yourself but in my opinion she actually did her justice and you want to know who else felt she did a good job to nina simone's granddaughter yes nina simone's granddaughter actually came out and defended chloe she said my grandmother would have loved this performance because my grandmother was a very free-spirited woman but see the thing is a lot of people only saw one side of nina simone they always saw her as this you know the classier you know side of her and you know that's the side that people were used to but they didn't know about the other side of her either and when usually when someone says someone is free-spirited that usually means that i'm not gonna say that they're out there like that but they 
do things that would not be deceived, would not be deemed as quote unquote normal by societal standards while still maintaining an image that people can gravitate towards and come to accept and like. And when I looked at Chloe's performance and thought about how Nina Simone was a free spirited woman, I said she actually did the tribute justice from the singing all the way down to how she performed in the dances and everything like that. Like she literally embodied who Nina Simone was as a performer, as an artist and as a person. But people did not accept it. And I'm looking and listening to some people react to the video and say different things and whatnot. They was like, how dare she dancing like that on Juneteenth? First off, some of y'all just got exposed to what Juneteenth even was. For you to even make those kinds of comments. But you have all of this to say about her. But it just shows you how at one point people can love you at one moment and then tear you down the next when they feel like there's something that you that doesn't line up with what they think of you or the preconceived notion that they have of you. Because it's like a year ago, y'all was bumping and dancing to their music. And all of that kind of stuff. But then she does this performance, which actually was a straight up and down tribute to an icon. To a T, and honestly, and y'all are upset. But I bet you if it was some palm colored woman who did this, y'all probably would have been all for it. Lord knows it, it wouldn't be the first time. So I'm not upset at her performance. I actually liked her performance. I actually watched it a couple of times. But if you haven't, I will leave the link down in the description below and you can go and watch it for yourself. And then you can come back and leave a comment on how you think she did. Now, of course, like I said, every, everybody has different tastes. Uh, and everything like that. But if you know who Nina Simone was, then you could understand why she did the performance the way that she did. And she made it her own. And what I thought was interesting is that after this performance, she performed it again on Good Morning America, but just without all the movements. Because basically this was them trying to say, oh, you know, that was for that. But we need you to perform a more cleaned up version for this. So it's almost like they tried to make it seem like she did a bad thing. But listen, the woman is very talented. She has a very strong and bright future ahead of herself. A lot of people keep saying that, you know, this is her way of going solo and breaking away from the group. No, she's just doing her thing right now because her sister is currently doing her acting thing. So what is she supposed to do? Just wait around for her sister to be done and then go back into it? No, they both are talented in their own right. That's what makes them very popular. And very good is because one can they can they're they are great together, but they're even but they're very great on their own as well, which is why Beyonce signed them, because they both have talent. It's not like one has to lean on the other. <clears throat> but I'm not mad at the I'm not mad at the performance. I like the performance, me personally. But that's just my preference. That's just how I feel. Y'all let me know how y'all feel.